Hello and welcome to my channel. In a previous video, I explained to you how to use the AGM-154 JSAO or Joint Standoff Weapon in PB mode or pre-briefed mode. In this video, I'll explain to you how to use it in TOO mode or Target of Opportunity mode. I encourage you to see the first video and then come and watch this video because the first video will give you a lot of good information and will help you understand what's happening in this video. So let's go ahead and have a look at the mission editor. So this is my plane. I'll be flying due east towards Kutaisi. And in Kutaisi, I've put a target here, which is this airplane here. This is a KC-130 airplane. It's a static airplane just used as a, a target for the purposes of, of this video. So, and if you look at my airplane, again, I'm flying towards Kutaisi. I'm going to look at the payload and you will see I'm carrying two AGM 154s and I'm also carrying the tool that will help me lock to my target, which is the AT flare. So I'm going to use the AT flare to find my target that I want basically to destroy. And then I will slave the JSAO to the AT flare and release the JSAO on the target designated uh, by the AT flare. One more thing before we go ahead and jump into the cockpit. As you can see, I've configured waypoint one just at the target and we're going to use that. Uh, I'll show you what I mean, what's the benefit of that when we jump into the cockpit. Let's go ahead and start. Okay, so I'm going to set my speed to 300 and I'm going to set the autopilot to battle altimeter so that I can fly straight and at a constant speed. I'm going to basically make sure that my arm switch, my master arm switch is on arm. I'm going to switch to air to ground mode and I'm going to configure this MPCD to display the HSI. On this left DDI, I'm going to choose the JSC or the JSAO. I'm going to switch from PP to TOO mode. And I'm going to basically switch on, so click E fuse and I will click on instantaneous uh, fuse. I'm going to go to the next station. Again, I'm going to switch from PP or TOO mode and then I'm going to click on E-Fuse and then Instantaneous. And then I'm going to go to my right DDI. Of course, I've already, uh, my, as you can see here, my AT flare is already switched on. So I'm going to go to my right DDI. I'm going to click on Flare. And as you can see, my flare is active. Now, in the mission editor, I've shown you that Waypoint 1 is just above my target. So I'm going to go to Waypoint Navigation, I'm going to go to Waypoint 1, and then I'm going to click on Weapon Designate, so that I would have my AT Flare pointing at Waypoint 1, which I'm going to do that right now. And as you can see, the AT Flare is pointing at that runway where the aircraft is. I'm going to zoom in, first zoom level, second zoom level, and I can, I can see basically here the airplane. I'm going to zoom in further and I'm going to slow down the AT flare to the airplane. So as you can see, I've placed the AT flare over uh, the airplane. I'm going to click on designate. Now I'm ready to fire. As you can see, or sorry, I'm still not ready to fire. So the Q on the HUD is in range. So the JSAO is in range. However, the JSAO has not warmed up yet. Uh, and if you look here, you'll see that there is a timer going down. It starts at 9 and it starts to count down. When it gets to 7.30, the JSAO will be warmed up and ready to be released. And the cross here or the X over JSC 
will be removed. As you can see, it's in TOO or target of opportunity mode. Until this timer goes down to 7.30, which is in 10 seconds, I'm gonna go ahead and refine my target selection on the 80 flare. Click on TDCD, press again, and then I'm gonna wait. And now my JSAW should be ready. And as you can see, the X has been removed. I am in range. I'm gonna click on weapon release. I've clicked on weapon release and I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna press on F6 to see the weapon. And as you can see, it's gliding down towards the target, maneuvering to make sure that it hits that target. It's almost there. I can start to see the, the KC-130 on the runway. And the JSAW is still moving to make sure that it hits the target. And that airplane is about to return to the rubble. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that you can see the explosion. And boom, target destroyed. That's it, folks. I mean, if you've liked this video, if you think that the information presented was useful, please do click on like and subscribe. Uh, I'll appreciate that a lot and it will help my channel. Thank you very much and have a nice day.